not be persuaded. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of leeway if you're loading and unloading. The streets don't look very wide, but we're kind of used to it, you know. <laughs> That's what I was saying. They look really tiny. made it to the room y'all i know i have not been talking to y'all this whole trip but i'm finna give y'all the rundown i'm finna give y'all the tea okay but first thing first we in philly um i've been here all month literally every single layover has been philly every single trip and we stay at this really nice hotel downtown literally every time that i stay here i get a different layout like they gotta have 10 different layouts in this hotel but honestly i feel like this one is my favorite one um, just cause y'all see the TV right there. I don't know. I like when the TV is like, kind of like, um, in that little box thing. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys. It's so cute. This is the desk and we got the microwave and to put that to use. Y'all already know it. Little window right here. Y'all want to see outside? Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Saturday. So I already know they finna make some noise, but it's all good. This is the bed. And then we got another window right here. Oh, we got two more windows. I'm telling you, bro, every single room that I've stayed in at this hotel, it's been a different layout. And I really like this one. I'm just showing you guys outside. Cause yeah, yeah. That's downtown Philly. The bed, like I said, I like when the TV is like in that kind of stand. Like, I don't know, it's cute. And then let me show you guys the bathroom. <laughs> oh, let me slow down. Okay. This is the hallway to the bathroom. Turn the light on. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. That's me. Can you see? It's kind of dark. Oh no. I don't know why it's acting dark, but that's me. I really like that wallpaper. Yeah. And that's the tub. So cute. And then of course I forgot there's the closet right there that I'm about to hang up all my clothes in. Hey guys, um, today is Saturday, March 23rd. It is 11.03 p.m. Welcome back to Flight Attendant Diaries. Like I said, I got y'all. I'm, I'm gonna catch y'all up. Okay, so boom. Today is day two of a four-day trip. Y'all have been in Philadelphia for the entire month. Literally the entire month. Y'all wanna see? Look at that. What y'all see? Philly, Philly, Philly. 
so yeah we had a whole bunch of Philly vibes going on in March and it's been pretty much the same trip I've been doing a lot of Cancun turns out of Philly I did one today um, but let me start from the beginning okay so yesterday Friday the 22nd I did one leg Houston to Philly that was nice and easy report was at 6 45 got in at about 11 45 but I didn't talk to you guys much yesterday and I didn't do too much yesterday because I really wasn't feeling well. Once I got to the airport, I had got me a chai tea latte from Starbucks, y'all. And I think that really messed me up. Like halfway through the flight, I just got this big headache out of nowhere and I was nauseous. The original plan that day was actually to hit the gym as soon as I got to my room and then go straight to get a Philly cheesesteak. Um, but obviously I wasn't feeling that great. So I ended up taking like a 30 minute nap and then I woke up, I ate my meal prep and I was like, you know what no like we pushing through this workout so friday yesterday was quad day we hit the quads we had an amazing workout um and then after that i was feeling a little bit better but still not 100 percent. i was still like a little nauseous and honestly i feel like it's definitely from drinking that starbucks drink and i didn't have nothing to eat that morning so yeah i won't be doing that again then after my workout i ended up walking to kava because i only packed three meal preps and i'm not gonna eat two in one day um so i walked to kava got me a little some um and then i went to bed and of course today i had the cancun turn so we did philly to cancun back to philly um we were a little delayed as you can see okay we were supposed to get in at like 7 p.m um but yeah we ended up getting in at 8 34 so yeah yeah y'all i've been pretty much living it up in philly all month um tomorrow will be kind of a fun day you know since i wasn't feeling the best yesterday um tomorrow let me show y'all what we do let me change the battery real quick hold on okay so tomorrow our report time is not until 7 35 p.m um, so I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning hopefully and I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow We hit an upper body and hit cardio. Okay upper body and cardio and then after the gym I'm gonna go to this yummy. It looks so good y'all name of the brunch spot is called green eggs cafe um, It looks really really yummy. They got literally like 10 different flavors of French toast So y'all already know I'm finna smash. But yeah, we're gonna go to the gym Then we're gonna have brunch and then um, one of my crew members she want to go to this place called Called, it's like a Japanese garden. It's called Shofusu Japanese Cultural Center and apparently they have a Japanese garden that's really pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna pull up with them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the Philly cheesesteak tomorrow, but definitely we're gonna hop on the French toast on the brunch. Um, let me show y'all what we got tomorrow though. Tomorrow we got that 735 report and then we do Philly to San Juan. And then we do San Juan to Philly, bro. Look at the block hours. <laughs> Please. And for the Philly cheesesteak, I really wanted to go to Reading Terminal Market. I was saying it wrong this entire time, y'all. I really thought it was Reading Terminal Market, but it's Reading Terminal Market. Um, and I went... I went, I think last month, I want to say, with the crew, and it was really nice. It was so many different places to eat in there, you guys. And I really wanted to get the Philly cheesesteak when I was there last time. But when I tell y'all that line was wrapped around a corner, bro, apparently they supposed to be like some of the best in town. So I'm like, dang, like I gotta pull up eventually. Reading Terminal is like a 20 minute walk. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of it tomorrow, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I just wanted to update you guys on the trip. Um, I might take you guys to the gym with me tomorrow if it's not too many people in there um because it's a really nice gym actually you can get like a legit full workout in there so if it's not too many people i'll take y'all along with me a little one two one two in the gym but if not y'all are definitely coming with me to brunch and to the japanese garden so with that being said i'm gonna call it a night um love 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 you guys so much and i'll talk to y'all in the morning y'all i told y'all that i love when the tv is set up like this but honestly I don't even watch TV <laughs> like I cannot tell y'all the last time I even turned the TV on like even in my house like in my room bro I don't even know if my TV still work like I can't tell y'all the last time I turned it on um but yeah it's just cute <laughs> I am about to do a few things on my laptop and then I'll head to bed Yo, 
Life theories, this nice delivery got me rated Banana berries and smooth medallies overdated The gelato is white cherries, yeah I'm more than faded Drifting off in the 5 series, cool like rollerblading Feel the fresh air, we like next day airing uh, Still a best pair like your first set of earrings Yeah, we till you get here, it's gon' click like time sharing All praises be, thought you knew you was God fearing When it was time to man up, coming from the sandbox Man, we had to find out where we had to find out we the illest tandem, isolation fandom Side by side like Hovind, yeah Yeah, them guys are stand up Breaking through your sound box At any time of day Look at what the brand of Now we in the sky box And we floating through the airways But look at life Used to stay up late, watch a nick at night Now we booking flights, staying in B&Bs It's five at night People move funny with business I let them see my wife Cause she don't take from nobody She swear she always right Yeah, we living life But them the lights I don't do t- but lay the pipe when it's late at night Bragging about how they took a life But that's never nice Till that karma catch back to them And then they pay the price We was always nice Never scared to join the safe Studied OGs like Tip Jerobe, Ali and Fife Everything been cinematic Like we signed a Johnny Shice Gotta earn your stripes Ice up in the prototype yeah. It was on the man up Coming from the sandbox Man, we had to find out where we had to we the illest tandem, isolation fandom Side by side like Hovind, yeah Yeah, them guys are stand up Breaking through your sound box At any time of day Look at what the brand of Now we in the sky box And we floating through the airways you see the proof like, this here the truth right We ain't that spoof type, bringing in that true light This ain't that goof hype, you know it's two types The good or the bad, why don't you pick you a side The yin and the yang, just to balance out the vibe I put some 40s on it just to show a different ride Used to put 40 up and now it's double just a cop It hit different now since we got up off the block Since we got up off the block been plot, cause we ain't never stopping for a minute, you're done now. Ghost. Good morning guys, it is 10.43 and I just finished my workout, I'm about to clean my stuff right now, y'all see, we got the Clorox wipes. Yeah, the cardio, we be struggling a little bit, but you know, practice makes perfect. It's fine. Overall, 10 out of 10 workout. Okay, finna go get some breakfast right now. Um, the crew actually bailed on me, bro. They bailed on me. Um, but really, it's, it's like 33 degrees outside, and we was not expecting it to be that cold when we got in last night. And a few of them, like, don't have coats, so I was like, it's all right. It's good. Like, y'all sleep in, y'all warm beds, okay? Y'all, I'm really just up and active right now, and I kind of want to explore. Like, I got up, got my workout done. It's cold outside but the sun is out so it's like a really pretty sunday so i kind of just want to go explore i'm gonna get some grub i'm gonna like walk around to a few shops or whatever woo, 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 woo. honestly i don't feel like i don't think i want a philly cheesesteak today mm -mm. maybe the next trip i'm gonna go to this little cafe i'm not gonna go to the one that we were gonna go to that one was the green eggs cafe it looks really yum but i'm actually go to sabrina's cafe it's like a 14 minute walk so i'll get in some nice views of the city and then i'll walk around a little bit to a few stores and then yeah i gotta come back for my midday nap because y'all know i wake up red eye tonight so my whole life has changed it's like a spiritual tap that my spirit just keeps hearing and it's saying press forward uh, take another big big leap of faith do something out of the ordinary god is releasing you in the bloodline to be able to tackle tackle this goliath in your family so that's why you can't go into rooms that other people want you to go in and get fed there you have to go into your god ordained rooms and connections that he has for you striving to be your best self you guys are not perfect but you just have a different type of mindset you have the light mindset as you have the same core values as you 
kingdom led with your gift and with your life and you take reins of your life you start working out and you start mounting your business you get off certain social media sites you stay out of certain circles you stay out of certain gossip groups when you begin to rise above and become an eagle that's why you find an eagle one at a time whatever the thing is that's running havoc in your family god is saying it's going to come to a stop because he placed something deep down in you that's going to break that thing off of the family it's like a soft spiritual tap come this way i got more for you it's abundance over here your land flowing with milk and honey is over here and i'm not just talking about money and tangible things these are things in a spirit that cannot be explained okay so just always remember that coach just told you you're not for everybody everybody not gonna like you your voices does not um activate everybody's gift to begin to work you gotta get in place and get in order before your things are unlocked so god is saying continue to tap into Okay, so boom, fit check. Y'all already know what's going on. Um, top here, bodysuit is from Pretty Little Thing. And the pants is from Zara, little cute cargo pants. They was actually like a lot baggy when I first got them. But now, of course, with each wash, they getting tighter and tighter. It's still cute. And of course, I got my Vans. Usually, I tuck in my laces, but I don't know. I kind of feel like the fit look a little bit better with the messy laces. Y'all know I only got one pair of shoes. So like, please, just got to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. So that's the fit. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair. Like, I was like, should I leave it down? Or should I do, like, the half up, half down? Even though that be making my forehead look big, bruh. Or I was like, should I do a bun on top? And I'm like, mm, that's going to be kind of heavy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might just do the half up, half down. But, of course, finna grab my coat right now. Yeah, guys. That'll be the fit. Ah! <laughs> no, it's a Canon G7X. Oh, yeah, cool. I do a tech video, Philly Cable Day. That's my YouTube channel. That's what I shoot with. You said, what is it? Philly Cable Day. Also, when I tell me press anything, your eyebrow game. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I'm just 
kidding. It's not even morning. I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Okay, so boom. Okay, so boom. Last time we left off. First of all, Sabrina's Cafe, 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend. I got an omelet with mushrooms, spinach, Swiss cheese, and I added turkey sausage. And I also got their stuffed challa French toast, which had um, this cream cheese stuffing in it with vanilla bean syrup. Bro. Bro. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That breakfast place was everything. It was super delicious, loved it. And then as I was eating breakfast, literally my crew had finally woke up and it was like, all right, like what's for lunch? I'm like, dang y'all, like I just ate. And it was like, okay, well we wanna go get some Philly cheesesteaks. So I'm like, all right, great. Um, So I just tagged along with them. The place that they chose was called Cleaver. So I just pulled up with them. Um, Everything looked really, really good. And then we kind of just like chopped it up for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We was walking around. It was a beautiful day downtown, y'all. Like I actually had a really good good day after that everybody walked back to the hotel and then i had like two hours left i know i said i was gonna take a nap but i was like i kind of want to go shopping y'all because y'all know i need clothes it was two jean shorts and it was one t-shirt that i had got from nordstrom rack i usually don't shop in nordstrom rack y'all but that's what was close so please <laughs> so yeah i went in nordstrom rack and then literally it was time to get ready we were supposed to get into philly at 5 26 a.m bro y'all want to know what time we landed let me tell y'all what time we landed this morning. We ended up landing at 9.24 a.m. So we were like four or five hours late. This is what we was looking like last night, basically this morning. Bruh. <laughs> Honestly, like I was tired, but I wasn't even tripping on it because I had like an amazing day on Sunday Like after I had brunch bro, and I walked outside, you know what song came to mind? Today was a good day by Ice Cube. Okay, don't do me the vibes of that song Just give me like everything was chill everything was cool Like, you know, it wasn't nothing special, but it was a good day and of course we was on minimum rest We went from 12 hours rest to like 940 so of course we're not legal to work the flight home. Our report time was 6.30 tonight. We we're supposed to uh, work the flight back to Houston. So of course, instead of working the flight, we're gonna be deadheading back. Um, so we're off the hook for that. Yay, yay. The credit went up tremendously. So yeah, everything worked out in the end, you know. All in all, I can't complain, okay? It's been a pretty good trip. My crew was real cool. Love that, love them. Loving life, okay? Let's go. Let me get up, get up out this bonnet. I guess this is the end of the vlog. I love, love, love you guys so much. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Right, we don't be no. Do it work at the restaurants too? Or just like the little marks? So when I, I had ordered yours first. Hi guys. You're probably wondering, why? Why am I back in the bed? Like, I thought I was going home. Um, <laughs> the flight that we were supposed to work tonight that was supposed to take off at 7.35 p.m. Um, instead of working it, we were just going to take an early deadhead. Basically, we were going to deadhead back tonight on the 7.30 p.m. flight. Um, we get to the airport. We end up getting Burger King, y'all. I know. Chick-fil-A line was out the door. We was not finna wait on that. Like, we was just starving. So I'm like, bet, we gonna get something close to the gate. So we got Burger King. She get in line. Literally, as she's standing in line, bro, tell me why we get an email saying the flight is delayed until 10, 15 p.m. So at this point, we just kind of like, all right, bro, like, should we wait around or should we go back to the hotel? Because technically, we had the hotel for another night because our official day head is not until 1 p.m. tomorrow. So we waited around for a little bit. It jumped from 10, 15 p.m. to like 11 o'clock. And then it jumped to like 9.55 and we were just basically like nah like we finna go get some rest like we big tired So basically the only reason we even pulled up to the airport was to get some food But the good thing is we got some free food Um they gave us an extra onion ring and they gave us free Hershey pies So y'all know I'm finna smash just the one thing bro this the one thing at Burger King I will smash But yeah that's what I'm finna do like it's just been a very long day but 
I'm still blessed. I'm still highly favored. <laughs> I'm about to eat this pie. Just gonna get some rest and wake up tomorrow and try this thing again, okay? Because every single day is a new day. If you're still alive, if there's still breath in your lungs, God is not done with you yet, okay? I really enjoy taking y'all along with me on these trips so that you can see, like, a lot of people think being a flight attendant is just, like, all fun and giggles and travels and stuff. But you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get those trips every now and then where it's like, woo! <laughs> it's all good. I don't really got nothing else for now. I love you guys so much. And we're gonna try again tomorrow, okay? Bye. <laughs> and Joseph and Moses and Abraham and Rahab and Isaac and Jacob all these people cheering you on right now they are cheering you on right now because they have walked this path before with the Lord and they know the reward that is waiting on the other side